theme for this event is coping with injury and what we're trying to do is give the tools and education behind the injuries, how to deal with them from a physical point of view but also from a psychological and emotional point of view. The Rising Stars and the coaches that are here today will take part in various workshops, coping with injury with a psychologist and a physio, self-massage and core stability. Between us all we've got a lot of experience to draw upon so hopefully we can pass that on to uh, to the uh, stars uh, of tomorrow. I suffered from injuries for five months this year. I had a long time out in the sport and that is, that is, it is difficult to recover from that. So it's just managing the recovery and managing the rehab and being able to actually mentally overcome the battle that you have. Just because you're injured doesn't mean you can't train. You just have to find ways and means of training the body effectively without putting any more stress or pressure onto the injury area. There's always something you can do to improve your physical well-being or your mental well-being so whether you can sort of use like your left leg maybe use your upper body a bit more or work the right leg a bit more uh, cross training there's all sorts of things available to you the psychology is so important with, with an injury to really make sure you're not down in the dumps and you really do stay positive about your sport and you don't give it up my other advice is that prevention is better than cure and so core stability and any other type of intervention and rehabilitation should never be neglected. There's a lot of things you can do to prevent injury. The most important thing is regeneration and recovery. After a long session, you, your, your body's gone through so much, your body's brutally beaten up, you need to recover it to, for your next session. So you can do things like ice bath, hot cold contrast, sauna, wear compression clothing, obviously eat well. Nutritionally, you can take supplements to help you recover. Your hydration is probably the most important thing. I do yoga classes twice a week which helps with my flexibility. Foam rolling like the guys have been showing today which is which is very very important and off the track as well I'm, I'm, I do my work that I need to do on time, my school work and it just gets you into good habits. I suffered a huge amount of injury problems and it made and broke me but at the end of the day when you've got an injury it shouldn't stop you being the athlete you want to be part and parcel of being an athlete and what I would say is that when you overcome them and when you achieve your goal that's that's the greatest feeling ever and it's always worth it in the end always. I don't feel like you're a proper athlete until you've got injured because that's when you really understand if you're motivated and it's what you want to do it's um it's a time of reflection and through being injured I've really realized that this is what I want to do I really feel like this is going to get me back on track and I'm really going to um, sort of do well in the future because of today.